Howdy people, what's cracking? Uh, welcome to this video. Today we're playing with the uh, Yak Tiger, the tier 9 uh, German tank destroyer. And yes, what you're seeing is true. I'm actually heading towards the valley on encounter. I know you guys are gonna hate me for this. Uh, yeah, I know I never do this. I always tell people not to do this, you know, not go to the valley on encounter because the valley is useless. But since there were no Arties and I was stopped here, I thought of, hey, why not give it a try? So what the heck, I'm gonna go to the valley for once. You know, I, I, I was just, with, uh, I just had the premises of, uh, of maybe, you know, the enemy tanks are gonna come here in large numbers, because they usually do. So maybe I can do some damage cooldown, but screw it. I went for it, man. Let's see if you can do some damage units with the Yak Tiger. Got 2,100 health. But you got this health because the armor of this tank is not really helpful, you know, you get penetrated quite easily. Only, yeah, lower plate, front plate, super weak. The upper plate, the superstructure, I think is like 250, so even that can get pent quite easily. Only if they don't really know how to shoot or if they don't look gold ammo, you're probably gonna bounce something. But I guess we're getting buffing the health of this tank was, yeah was their way of not buffing the armor. I would have preferred an armor buff, but let me see if I can get this Oni. Ah, he detracked me. And I missed the Scorpion. So far, it's not going that great, right? Because I can't really hold down here. I'm mostly peeking with my lower plate, and the enemy tanks probably see that, but if the Oni comes in, I'm gonna punish him again. So, uh, loop. The Oni is like overconfident in his armor. You know, the Oni players that just used to press W and go through everything. Not today, my friend. <laughs> this is the Agro gun. Yak Tiger. You gotta do that. Can I get that guy? Uh, not sure if that was an easy shot. Probably not, but missing two times in the Scorpion is kind of annoying. But I can always just go for this guy again. The gun handling is really good. If you guys ever play this tank, you probably know, right? Really good uh, gun handling. Well, same gun as the Waffen Trigger, except this tank is uh, a bit slower, so it has a little bit better dispersion values, I guess, right? But the accuracy is spot on, aim time is great, penetration is great, rate of fire is great. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to have a good gun, right? After it doesn't have a turret and not so much armor. Yeah, I'm really enjoying grinding the Act Tiger at this point. Really good tank. And you know, when you're enjoying playing a tank, you usually play better with it and get better results, yeah. I think that's my case too. I'm really, really enjoying it. Well, in any case, we need to hurry up because the enemy team has started capping and this is why the valley is useless. Even if I did some decent damage here, right, the valley does not lose or win games, I believe. It's the city. But considering my tank doesn't really have armor, I can't go cooldown in the city, so I probably would have died quite easy there without any armor. That's why I came here. Yeah, I could have just came here alone, you know, because I pretty much did the job alone. I thought to myself, hey, why not? I think the team can spare one tank out of 15. So I can go to the valley and try to do some damage. But yeah, just know that this side is not really important on encounter. Uh, standard modes, yeah, you can go here, no problem. If there's no art, because if, if there's art, it's a pretty bad idea. Right now, just praying that the team in the city will decap, because we're not really doing much about the the the, the victory right now. You know, I mean, we cleared this side, but let's face it, if if they had more people on the cap, they could have capped by now quite easily so we're just going uh, at the mercy of the enemy team okay I'm gonna pop a tank here again and see if I can spot I got uh, I got chocolate on this tank and I got pretty decent view I think I got like 460 or 470 I'm not sure we'll see in the garage got a pretty decent view range on this tank so I'm not running binos I don't I'm not a big fan of binos but uh, when I'm playing super, uh, I was trying to get my, my crosshair more to the right with a tank will move. Not a big fan of binos, but when I'm playing tanks with really bad 
base V range. I will go with binos eventually, but until then I still prefer optics, optics master race, right? Have that V range constantly in the tank. I don't know how that shell went into the tracks now, but yeah, well. Somebody will kill him, if not me. There we go. There's a scorpion. I'm just gonna soak it. All we gotta do now is clean up the guys on the cap. But first we gotta finish this Yak Panther too. Look at that aim time, boys. Damn. And I'm pretty sure we have shots on the cap from here right now. So it's spring clean is gonna commence, except it's not spring. Barely winter is starting, so. There we go, let's just clean up the cap, boys. We got really lucky that the team in the city managed to, to, to hold the enemy team. And we did not get capped. Yeah. And now I got decent damage this game. But I can't say it mattered towards winning or losing winning the game. That was pretty okay-ish. Talking about the V-range, I had 466 on this tank. And this is a fresh crew. So there's still room for improvement. Maybe after both Vivian skills get to 100%. Maybe we have 470. Maybe a bit more, I don't know. In any case, we got the Ace Tank Arena. We got a Steel Wall. Something that doesn't happen often with this tank. We got the uh, Top Gun High Caliber. And again, that metal that I have no idea what it is. I think it's either Spartan. I think it's Spartan or, I don't know, Lucky or something. We got uh, 6,574 damage, 6 kills, 1,358 basic XP. Didn't really get any assist damage, well, 227. You know, everybody was shooting everybody face to face, so... Not a lot of room to, to use the V-range. Maybe for the Scorpion in the back, I don't know. And we made 29k profit in the end. Because we don't have to shoot gold ammo, you know. This tank has really good penetration. So, yeah, we only lost credits because, um, well, ammunition and because of chocolate. Okay, fellas, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video as much as I enjoy playing the Yak Tiger. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends so that we may grow to even bigger levels on YouTube. Yeah. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, you know what you gotta do. Stay frosty and um, stay already safe. Yeah. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.